Hey guys, Jason here. Uh, so the first part of this leather series I'm doing, we're going to make a, a, a coin pouch. Uh, this is one I made a while ago. Don't worry, we're not going to be making a pink one. I mean, I guess if you're a girl, you'll like this, but uh, I'm going to make one in a black utility leather. Um, and I'm starting off with this project. It's very, very easy. It's simple. It's something really good to learn on. And there's, since it's not veg tan, there's no dyeing or finishing or anything like that. We'll get to that in later videos. So, um, yeah, we're just going to make this simple coin pouch. Um, not much to it. Just uh, two pieces of leather, some stitching, and a, and a line 20 snap. Um, so what you're going to need, the main tool is you're going to need your uh, mallet, your leather shears, your hole punches for your stitching, your stitching, two needles, your pen to draw out the to trace around the template on the leather you're gonna have your line 24 snap which you're gonna need one of those and a setter for that stamp so that's the main tools you're gonna need you're also gonna need your granite when we punch the holes uh, couldn't fit that big piece of slab in the picture but uh, that's it we're gonna get to work on this and uh, I'll show you the template okay so here's the template um, I'm not sure the best way to show you guys how to make this, so I just got the measurements. Um, the main pouch is four, four inches by four and a half, and you're just going to round them here. And basically, what you can do is on your graph paper is just double that. Um, if I can line this up, your the front and back are going to be exact just like that and then what you're gonna do is make the lid however you want indent it about a quarter inch and the reason for that is when we stitch it together we're gonna stitch it inside out and as you can see after it's together it lines up real nice so you're gonna wanna make that in I indented that about a quarter of an inch uh, the overall length of that one looks like it's six and a half six and a half by four and a half um, and then the holes for the stitching um, I always go quarter inch apart my hole punch is quarter inches apart so since I'm using graph paper these are quarter inch around the curves you're just gonna kinda have to make that up um, but mark your holes where you want that's the main template if this is good enough for you guys to copy this um, you know, feel free to pause the video and you can kind of get the dimensions there you want. But uh, the main thing is just make those two body parts the same. And then you can uh, kind of uh, do a dry fit like that. Also, I got two holes here. That's where the snap is going to go. If you're going to do this the exact same, this snap is an inch and a quarter in. And on the lid, it is about almost an inch it's actually about seven eighths I believe seven eighths from the, the lid there and this one's an inch and a quarter so we're gonna get the leather and uh, get to work okay so here's the leather we're gonna use excuse me okay so here's the leather we're gonna use um, it's a uh, it's a Kodiak cowhide black so you can and kind of see the grain of it really nice stuff makes really good bags and these coin pouches so uh, basically it's real simple just put it on there trace around it does not have to be completely perfect I'm not going to show every step of this we're going to I'm going to use that pen I got from whoops upside down from Tandy this is actually the first time I'm using it and so here we go, just press this, I'm using a scrap piece so it's not laying very flat. But we're gonna just hold it down, trace around it. Do that with both pieces. And when we're done, we'll cut them okay, out. Okay, so we've got our two pieces. I've actually got two pieces of leather here. We've got both templates drawn out. That simple, just trace around it, no biggie. And then when you cut it out, the best thing I this uh, with this Tandy pen, this silver marker will rub off. In case you get some, what I do is cut 
try to cut in just inside the line so you don't ever actually see it. But if you get some shown, it's all right, it'll rub right off. So take your leather shears and just cut it out. All right, we got these cut out. That simple, get your template, trace around it, cut it out with the shears. Now we're gonna put the template back over it first. And what I'm gonna do is mark the hole to punch for the, uh, for the snap. We'll do that on both of them. Like I said, this was a scrap piece, so it's not laying very flat, but it's okay. For the purposes of this video, it'll work out. So you can see the two holes, and uh, we're okay. just going to punch this those. Was, this was actually one of the tools I did leave out, was your hole punch. You are going to want to get one of these. Uh, in the first video I showed this, it was a part of a six-piece kit, <clears throat> and we're using the smallest size on there. So get your mallet. We'll do the other one. And then we're going to do our stitching holes. We're going to mark our stitching holes and then we're going to okay, punch stitching those out. holes. What I do, I have not exactly mastered this part yet. This is just kind of, you got to do it how you do it. I'm going to put the template back over it. And I'm going to take my hole punch and I'm just going to press it down really, really hard. And we're just going to make an impression where the holes need to go. I'm not sure if my arm is blocking the video, but even with this, it's gonna be fairly hard to see the holes. So I'll impress, I'll, I'll mark as many as I can that are straight on a straight line. And then you're gonna use, use the two prong one to mark the ones on a curve like this. So, uh, you can't see that really well. Um, I can barely see it, so it's gonna be pointless showing you on the camera, but uh, you know, if you want, since you can actually go back through you can mark it with your silver sharpie so you can see it a little bit better, which maybe I'll do for this video so you guys can see it. But do the same thing with the other piece. Take your template, put it over there, and actually you could just mark it through the, uh, the template with the marker. You could do it that way. But I'm gonna mark those real quick and then we'll come back and punch them. So we marked our holes. If you can get a better view of that. Yeah, uh, using the marker to go through the template and mark it, uh, go through and mark it works pretty good. Actually, that works a lot better. Here is the top one. And uh, so we're gonna use our punch. You're gonna use your, uh, your four prong. And we're gonna punch these out. And again, on the straight areas, you can go straight for the curved areas. You're going to want to use your uh, two prong because you cannot um, use the straight one on a curved edge, obviously. So take your mallet, make sure you have your uh, granite piece underneath, <clears throat> and just start punching these out. If you got them marked real good, just line them up. All right, so all the holes are punched. Uh, kind of, you can still see the silver. It doesn't matter that you can see any of the, the marker on here because that's all going to be on the inside. So it's all right if you see that. Um, so next thing to do is we're going to add the snaps and stitch it up and we're done. Now, the one thing I've learned from utility leather, we're going to use a line 20 snap. They have long posts. They're actually too long for utility leather. Uh, when you're gonna you're gonna put your two pieces and we're gonna use our setter the problem is these posts are gonna stick up way too high it's gonna take a lot to pound them down and they're gonna bend over and break and um, 
If you were using veg tan leather, if you were adding a snap on thick veg tan leather, you don't have to do anything to this post. But when you're going through thin, something as thin as this utility leather, you can see how much that post is going to stick up. You've got to come, you've, you have to cut off some of this post. I sand it down on my belt sander. Uh, if you got some wire cutters or something you can use, just be careful. You want to make sure you keep it round. But I'm going to go out in my shop and uh, I'm just going to grind these two posts down really quick with my belt sander. Uh, you probably only need to do maybe not even an eighth of an inch. Uh, if you do not do this process, you will find out the hard way uh, how much these snaps are hard to do uh, to set on this. So I'm going to go out to my shop and I'll be right back. All right, so I just came back from the shop. Um, not sure how well you can see this. I have ground these down. And um, so I'm gonna stick this one through this hole. This uh, snap, which I'm, I, I believe is the, I don't know if this is the male or the female, but this is going to be the flat one on the inside. This one, you do not necessarily have to use this setter because the bottom is already flat, you pretty much can just put it right on your granite. And what I do when I, when I set a snap is I go in a circling, just a small circle. And there you go, there, that worked out perfect. Um, yeah, that one worked good, we'll do the the lid. On this one, since you had, this is going to be the one showing on the outside, that's the domed. I'm sorry, I think everything is upside down on this camera. Uh, this one, you are going to have to use that setter right there. And it is the second one in for the line 20. That one's set. Looks really, really good. And all we gotta do is stitch it up and it's done. Now there are some cosmetic things you could do before we go any further. Uh, this type of utility leather, it's got a little bit of white in there. You could bevel, you could bevel these edges if you wanted to. Um, you could dye them, you know, but for the sake of this video, just showing you guys a nice starter kit. Uh, the cosmetics, it's not really necessary. Um, but if you wanted to go ahead and do that, you could. You could bevel these edges, edges. you could dye it. Um, but I'm not going to do that for the sake of this video. So we're going to stitch it up. I'll show you how to do the saddle stitch. And then uh, I'll be right back. Alright, so we're going to stitch this up. Uh, I've got my needles and about about two and a half feet of stitching and I just run the thread through and just leave it hanging like that I don't normally stitch like this I'm, I'm setting this up to show you guys how to st saddle stitch but I've got my granite uh, holding the two halves together on my table now this these two halves of your pouch you're gonna want to stitch them inside out so you want the fuzzy side sticking out uh, just like this now we're gonna go from these holes, I don't know if you can see these. We're going to start on the second one. And you're going to kind of pull it to make sure you've got the even amount of stitching. And basically, we're going backwards the first time. I guess most leather workers use a stitching pony. I don't have one, so. So that's pretty much what a saddle stitch is. You're gonna start, you can start further down if you want. I start on the first hole, I go back one, and go forward. And it's just, one needle goes in that way, one goes that way, it's just crisscross all the way around. So I'm not gonna show me stitching up the entire thing because I just messed up right there. See, even a pro can mess up. But I'm gonna come back and um, show you how to tie 
how to finish off the stitching and, and tie a good knot so this won't ever come undone. Like I said, I don't stitch like this. I'm just showing it to you like this for a view so you can get an idea. One needle that way, one that way. Just You're basically S-ing both needles all the way through. And uh, I'll come back and show you how to tie the knot. Okay, so we're on the very last hole. Yeah, I probably should have used some lighter leather so you guys could see it. But, okay, so we are on the very last hole. On both sides. Now, since we are stitching this inside out, it doesn't matter where you see the knot because it'll be inside. So, what we're going to do, you're just going to take what, whichever one, whichever needle you want, go back in the second hole so that you have both uh, pieces of stitching coming out. Take off the needles and you're just going to tie yourself a square knot, just a standard square knot. And we're going to take those two ends. This is how I do it, guys. If you if you can figure out uh, a, a way that works for you, that's fine. Uh, this is just how I do it. So I'm going to take both those ends. I'm going to run it back through the needle. And on the side that we did the knot, I'm going to go through that second hole, the second one. And I'm going to try, with utility leather, this is a little bit difficult, try to pull that knot in between the two pieces of leather. Come around the other side, snip, just leave just a little bit sticking off there. Excuse the noise. And just melt down those two pieces coming out, squish them down. We are done. Uh, let me fade out here a little bit. Okay, so it's it's done. We're done stitching it. All you gotta do is turn it inside out, and you're done. Now with this black Cody Kodiak can be a little bit difficult because it's thick, it's beefy, <laughs> and it can just be a pain in the butt, especially with something this small. Probably shouldn't have used it, but I like this stuff. Don't worry about crinkling it up. This leather, it's gonna last you forever. That's the whole point. Yep. I'm gonna come back once I'm done with this. Okay, so after uh, fighting with this thing, I uh, finally got it inside out, about as much as I'm gonna get it. And, and it's done. Flatten it out, button it up. There is a little coin purse, just like the pink one, but we got a manly one. Um, if you can look up close, see the grain of that, it is really, really nice. And these are actually a lot more durable than I thought when I first made it. I completely filled this up with change and shook it, the snap would not come undone. These actually work very, very well. And this is a a great project to start off if you're learning leather work. Um, I suggest starting with something similar to this. Uh, don't get into dyes or finishes just yet. Learn to learn to do some stitching and some small fabricating on uh, something like this. Uh, you can use really any type of utility leather, oily leather you want. Um, I mean, Tandy sells a lot of this stuff. Uh, I probably should not have used this. It was it was almost impossible to turn it inside out. It was almost too thick, but it still works. It's great. You could even stitch on a little belt loop on the back if you wanted to. Um, but there you go. Um, you have that pattern at the beginning of the video. Feel free to copy it and uh, make one of these if you want. I think that maybe took an hour, if that, even along with making this video. So. There you go, guys. I, I hope this helped out. Again, a nice little uh, starter leather kit. Coin purse for you. So, this is 
the next video. I will move on to another video. Um, maybe we'll go to tooling next, not sure. Um, and try to do this in some easy steps for you guys. Uh, so we don't bite off more than you can chew. We'll go a little bit at a time. Uh, but there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have fun with these.